if you're watching this video, this is probably your first or second time wrapping a car and you're struggling. So in this episode, I'm gonna help you figure all the hardest parts out. Welcome back to the channel, guys, to Paradox of Wrapper. Sitting in my favorite spot, right by the waterfall. Look at this, look at this. Yo, I got secret, I got secret strawberry plants that I didn't know about. That's gonna be dope right there, okay? So on this one, um, it's gonna be a technical episode where I'm gonna show you guys, actually, I'm gonna show somebody how to wrap a car in real time okay so i'm going to talk him through it and we're going to see if he has what it takes to become a rapper um i have a test car right in there for him and this is his first time really rapping he watched me wrap the whole um pink glitter car while i was doing it but when you watch someone do it it's nothing like actually doing it yourself. When it comes to wrapping, it's always as hard as how easily you give up. So if you don't get on and just try it and do it, just like riding a bike, you will never learn, okay? So there's no amount of talking or showing you through video how to do it. You just have to buy a roll and really just try it yourself. And as long as you can struggle through and do every panel, and then learn through that process, that's when you know you can wrap. If you give up midway, especially on the bumper, then you can't do it, okay? So it's all about willpower and overcoming the difficulties and problem solving as you go. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to do a bumper, how to stretch a panel the correct way and set it up so that you're not struggling through and trying to fight all those wrinkles. So let's get into it. He's already started wrapping. I'm gonna show you what it looks like because I was like, all right, you watch me did it? Now, wrap this whole side of the car. So let's see where he's at. Holy cow, look at this mess. So it looks like there was a uh, bad cut here. Totally lost the quarter panel, okay. <laughs> Gotta take the door handles off. Right here, what's going on with this hood? So, I mean, overall, not bad for the rest of the hood, but you got like stuff like this, stuff like this, and a discoloration line you can see here going all the way up. So, I'm going to show you how to avoid this. So, you know, this one's not going to be like how to wrap the whole car in real time, but we're gonna go through and kind of just talk about the common mistakes that first timers make. So what we're doing is re-wrapping this quarter pan this quarter panel. So like always, you want to measure one feet extra from where the door is. Um, if you have four doors, six inches. If you have two doors, all right. And we're gonna take this all the way back here. Bam, where the quarter panel ends is 140. See right there? Okay, so we're gonna measure out 140 because this whole quarter panel, mm -hmm. it all connects. Right down there, all right, so this has no side skirt, so it's a little unique. All right, there you go. Matt's got it measured to 140. Okay, he's going to make a line there because this is not any marking and you're going to continue that line all the way across. Doesn't have to be exact, but as close as you can. Uh oh, we don't have that much left boys. Okay, there you go. So when you're rolling solo, you got to roll this back up. Mm -hmm. It's too big of a piece for you to handle. Mm -hmm. All right, so I had him get all the magnets and then line them all up right here. And as you go, first off, you're gonna grab one, you're gonna grab two of them. Okay, okay grab two. All right, and then you're gonna put it. Okay, look. Oh, you're too short. Ah! Okay, all right. you need to go one inch over. One inch over. Okay, see that right there? You can feel it, okay? 
Put another magnet there so it doesn't move. Okay, now roll it across. All right, as you go, you're gonna wanna cover up here, right? So you wanna grab another magnet and stick it right here. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. So you got two, you gotta stick two on the doors. One on the front door and one on the back door. Cause your cause your thing is this thick, right? Mm -hmm. So it being that thick, you're gonna wanna cut that thick. So right here. Straight across. I see what I did wrong last time. Okay, go. Keep that, keep that straight, but don't go too, don't get too hasty. Keep going. You're gonna get to your point right here. Now, if this is your first time cutting and you don't wanna be short, ho ho, hold on, yeah, you gotta feel that. Okay, hold on. You wanna feel it and you're way too close. You need like a little more lead. Okay. And then right here, look, look at this door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before you cut it, this is your limit, okay? You want to be that much over your limit. That's not too much in here. So, oh, you're fine. Right here. This is where the door is. You can feel it hanging off. Yeah. yeah. So keep going. Follow this door line. Hold on. You're going to slow down when you come around this turn. You want to feel it with your hand. Okay. But remember, this whole thing goes all the way around. Keep going. Oh, hold on, slow down. Keep consistent. Okay. Go to the bottom of the door and then straight across. Straight across. Yes. It's all connected up. Okay, yeah, keep it consistent. Okay, great. Now, that is your quarter panel piece. Ooh, ooh. Take all the magnets off and move the quarter panel that way. So you can see the doors. All right, you gotta move it back far enough so it covers that back door. Okay. But it's gotta cover all of it. I see a, I see a little piece sticking out. You gotta go down a little bit. All right, so you know you're gonna cut out both of these doors. Back door and then the front door because you slid the whole thing because it had an extra 12 inches here. You slid the whole thing back. So you have room to cut where that door is right there. But rather than waste that nice big top piece, we're gonna lop it off where that window is. So, yes. So you... <laughs> You're gonna feel for your window. window, and in fact, you're gonna take your magnets and you're gonna set your limits where the window is. All right, so you're gonna move these up. You make sure that this covers that, so this is where your window is. So you cut above the magnets. Yep, you're just gonna go. Whoosh like that because if this car has a wing you're gonna use that for the wing in fact you can actually use that for the side skirt if you wanted to Are you, is it covering the whole door before you cut covering the whole door okay go cut with an extra inch it's better to be higher than to be short okay Straight across. Okay. Great. Now put that up somewhere. Yeah, let's use it for later. Straight down. You see where the door ends? 
you're gonna go two inches after that. Yeah, right here. Or three. You don't wanna go over too much. That's where it ends. Yeah. Put your magnet right here. Okay. I see what you're saying. It's being too generous. Yeah, because remember, you need you need this piece for the door. Yeah, it's just traumatized from earlier. Really. <laughs> Hold on. Make sure you feel it. Go forward more. Okay. Right you're, you're pretty much good to go. You're a little tight. A little tight. But that's why we got extra in the back. Here. You're fine right here. See that? Oh. Covers, covers. Covers right here so you can actually go forward a little more. And that completes the back door piece. Nice. Okay. So now you have your back door piece. And then you have your front door piece. And most important is the quarter panel. And the quarter That's panel the is still intact. Alright. So tomorrow. Tomorrow. Matt's task is to work the fender finish this door that he started <laughs> now he has yeah. a now he has oh, a man it's ugly <laughs> yeah, it's so all right and then this is your backup front door piece where is it where is it so michelle tells me that there was a, a deer in the yard earlier we need to tame that deer I need a deer pet. I wonder if it's over here. Anyway, I just got home from my office day job. Took the 240 today. And uh, we're gonna look for this deer real quick. Apparently it was drinking out of my waterfall over there. But the car's hidden in there. So we're gonna go in there and see how Matt did. Hey, I just got home from work. Matt. Is the man? Look at that. Not so bad, right? Uh, the improvements, y'all. Yeah. The improvements. Look at that. So he's able to do this whole side all by himself. What was the issue the first time? The issue was not pulling it hard enough. Actually, that was the issue. Right, well, so, there was a lot of issues. So for first time, what do you recommend after uh, learning from your first mistakes to being able to do this? Uh, what do you got to tell them? Still don't speed up, and the wrap is a lot stronger than you think, so you can really put your weight into it to uh, flatten it out. So don't baby it. Yeah. yeah. And originally he was squeegeeing the wrinkles oh, itself. I squeegeed everything. I thought the no, whole thing no, no, was a no, side no. of You gotta glass the whole glass. panel, right? Once you glass the whole panel, it was oh, easy? Yeah. I just want to get this, this line right here, make it nice and glass, right? That's what you say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, then ev everything else is um, it's easier as opposed to just throwing it on, we didn't just keep taking it off and on because I did that like 200 times on that. <laughs> so don't do that. How many times did it take you to do this door? Not long. That took me about like 20 minutes. Right? Yeah. Once once you get one panel, all the panels oh, are, it, are pretty it, much done the same Then way. you're not mad at yourself and you're cursing <laughs> and all my everything. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. A lot happier experience. A lot happier experience. All right. So I'm showing him how to do the quarter panel. I'm positioning these magnets right here so that that's where the quarter panel ends and the bumper begins there you go cut out all right so now you're gonna blow the air with a compressor behind this so that um you get rid of all the dust you can also cut this flap right here cut that slap more up more that way, more that way. Okay, yeah. good you're gonna put a magnet like right here and then another one like right here it's just two of them right there but without that wrinkle in the middle yeah like flatten it out yeah just, just flatten it out just enough it's fine it's not a big deal you're gonna remove it again okay and then you're gonna well you gotta pull this off first the plastic cover you can't stretch it with that plastic cover on That's good, just leave it there. Right. Then you're gonna lift it up. Yep. And do the same thing you do with the doors. Stretch it across. Up. 
No, so you want the, you want this as flat as possible. No, too much too much pull on the head. Yeah, spread your hands evenly. Even pressure. Okay, now pull back. See yeah, okay, okay, yep, yep, yep. Too much up top. You're pulling too high this way, but you're not pulling hard enough down low. Gotcha. Okay. You gotta pull even. Alright. Yep. There you go. Bam. Okay. There it is. You're still pulling way too much up high. So you got you're making these these wrinkles for yourself. Alright. Do it again. There you go. Okay. That's that's better. Good. Now you're gonna. Before you do that, pull up and down. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah, this is called blasting out the film. There you go. Now you just handle it like the rest of the drawer. That's an actual dent. Well, that's where the tail light ends, where it starts. Yeah. Okay. So you want to just work it from this down and that up. You know? And then, once you have that set, and you anchor it down, you can pull this up here and pull this down there. You want to set this first before you do that because you're going to cause an air bubble right there so you want to go from here up to that and then do it yeah you don't want to squeegee the bubbles because you're going to cause those cinch marks you can take those things off now already made too many cinch marks i don't want to do that again any bubbles you want to squeeze that with your finger. Okay. Yeah, then you just work from this body line up to about right there. Then you're good. Then you work the body line down. So you got to squeeze it progressively from a starting point. You're just doing it randomly. So you're just making a bubble right here. For no reason. Start from the body line and work up. No. Across, then up. He's got all these wrinkles. He's gonna lift them back up. Okay. To the wrinkle, lift up to the wrinkle, right here. Look. Oh, okay, fine. So That's fine. Yep. Pull it forward. Make sure you get the body line once again flat. You don't need to go all the way back, I just grab, yeah, grab it under there. Just put your finger in there and pop that out. Yeah, pop that out. There you go. Pull, 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 pull that way. You don't have to pull that hard, just enough so it's flat. There you go. The harder you pull, the more nasty wrinkles you're going to cause yourself. Nope. 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 You, you're Did trying it again. to fight it. Don't Did fight it. Did it again. Right. You get the heat gun. Back, but don't pull on it. Just heat it up. There you go. Why don't you pull that over there? Good? That's enough. Now lay it down without stretching it. There you go. When you heat and then you lay it down with a stretch, you're going to discolor it. Alright, now good. You're gonna take a bigger chunk. 
you're still trying to do little, little ones. Take a bigger chunk, step to the other side of the door. Yeah, yeah, keep going, a little more. Okay, there you go, and then I pull it forward, and then lay it down. Towards you, yep, keep going. Those are good wrinkles, love those. Okay, right there, you're, you're good to stop there. All right, hold, right there, don't, okay, good. Grab back here, go back here. All right, but lift it up to the, okay, right there. Okay, now keep, uh, keep this whole area. Right here. Good. You feel it getting supple? Feel it getting supple. Okay. Now grab, yeah, grab it like that. Wait, hold oh, on. Oh, oh. Okay, now you're gonna make the turn. Just, just turn it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you, you didn't make it. Go back, do it again. Lift it up to here. Okay, that's fine. Stretch it towards you. And then make the turn as you come down. Good. That's perfect. Okay. Now, work from the middle. So first off, you want to pull the opposite directions and get those out. Yeah. That you're gonna want to heat then. But deal with this first. Okay. Oof. You got a ripple. Damn. Okay. There you go. Now you're going to do what you just did across the whole thing. Put it over here. Yeah. Yo, look at him go, guys. Tell Matt in the comments how well you guys think he's doing. Oh, gee, thanks, okay? Guys. Down in the comment below, this is his first time wrapping. The quarter panel piece is quite hard. You have to work in multiple pieces, but look at it. Look at it, boys. He's got the knack. Oh, damn. Look at that, look at that. Notice I have not touched the car, okay? I'm only over here narrating. And talking poop. Okay, there you go. And we're taking some sick thumbnail shots. <laughs> All right, right here, look. You can't make it over here because this is causing your tension. What you need to do is stick a squeegee back here and cut on the squeegee all the way up to here to relieve all this tension so you can then come around yeah, that's the concept you're gonna relieve the tension all the way up to here yeah, you can do this too you can tear it with your finger if you wanted to See? All right. So you just do this. Yeah. Okay. Lift it up to the to the wrinkle, and then pull it back down. Go all the way around. Yep. 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 All the way around. Look. Oh, yeah, it's That's right fine. It's right Rub it. Find out where your where your end point is. Okay. And then this, you just pull up. Just pull that one. Give it a little heat to get, it, get rid of this. Okay, good. You're just laying it down, no, no pressure. There you go. All right, now you can rub it. Yeah. Hey. You know what to do. You know what to do. There you go. Alright, now you just pull this back. And you work it with the squeegee. 
work it into that crevice with the squeegee. Alright. Now all you have to do is lift all this back up right here. So that there's no tension into here and then you use the squeegee and you work it into this curve. You work it into these where this light where this tail light meets this thing. Okay. pieces so they're split 30 inches on each piece with the longest side for the back bumper so whatever bumper is longest then you cut to that size all right and you split it in half this is the only way to make 60 feet work okay you split it in half to do both bumpers Yep, you want to put your mag two magnets down right there. You're too high, look. There you go. Make sure that you're low enough. Alright, just lay it, rest, rest it against the... That's fine. You don't need any rest of it. Just rest against there. Okay, now. The key is to make sure that from here to the same spot on the other side is as flat as possible. You got enough? Yeah, that's good enough. That's fine. Yeah. You got some wrinkles you can pull out of there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Don't do anything to mess with that. <laughs> do the same thing on the other side. All right. Okay, yeah, good. All right, you want to see me do it? Here. Yeah. Watch. All right, here, here's that. Here's that. You got to get the stance, okay? They know the stance. This is how you practice your kung fu. You're doing a uh, get get low on the angle. Okay, get the action shot, baby. <laughs> There's a couple. You want to make this. You want to flatten this out. First. It's rolling in on itself, right? Okay. You're doing this, this scooting thing. Yeah, I'm doing a little crab walk. Oh, look at that form. Oh, okay. Alright, so it's a smoother thing. I mean, is it better? I don't know. It's just up to you to decide, right? But once we have that, we can pull these down. So, right here. Okay. Just went off. That's fine. It's still recording. Jokes on me. Okay, right here. Alright, so now you're gonna flatten the whole nose out. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. It's pretty good. You see this line right here? Yep. All you need is to get to this line. Okay. Yep. You don't care what happens anywhere else but where this is. 
All right, now you just gotta do this bottom part. You gotta section out the bumper. Once it gets like that, you can just remember you're not wrapping anything beyond this point, <laughs> so it doesn't need to be that tight, it doesn't need to be that good. good. <laughs> All right, now this part section right here you want to peel this back to here. There we go. He's gonna try to get to this point here and then heat it. Okay, keep going. You gotta get those out just a just, just little bit. Okay, good. Heat. Get, yep, okay. Lower. You see that? You're, you're too short here. Spot. You got spot. You got to do the Asian spot. Asian squat. Okay. That's pretty decent. Do it again. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, so now you have your kind of nice area right here. So you just reach down, pull that down. You gotta get behind it. You gotta get behind it. Remember, you don't care about any of this here. You just care about that. Okay, right there. Good. Deal with that later. At the top. Reach behind the headline. Okay. Reach too much. Just enough. Okay, there you go. Look, you did too much. Oh no. Remember, you gotta have tension going diagonally that way. Okay, there you go. You only care about the area you care about. There you go. Great. Outline the area you care about. So you wanna rub it from a body line. Yep, yeah, okay. Where do you care? You care right here. You care right here. Right, this is the headlight. See, that's why you got, you can't, anyway. Okay, so now, now you mess yourself up. You gotta start here and then go that way so that the air has a channel to escape. If you just start cinching parts, then it's gonna... I'm gonna trap there. Exactly. I mean, there is air release, as you can see here, and it's gone out, but you don't wanna depend on that. It's always smoother when you just make, make it smooth. See, look, I'm rubbing the body line that I care about because this is all areas that I'm wrapping. All right, right here. Yeah. Okay, so his job now is just to get this part. Okay. Uh, you don't want to undo too much of what you already did. Pull more up top. Okay. Now you want to heat it up slightly, and then you're gonna let it rest. Get all that too. Uh -huh. Heat all this up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. You want to let it rest for a second. Let it cool off. Okay, and then go. Feel it. Feel it. More on the bottom. More on the bottom. More on the bottom. You get, if the wrinkle goes up, then you've got too much tension up top. If the wrinkle goes down, you got too much tension on the bottom. Yeah, okay. Feel it, good. Now these you can pull out. Yeah, right? There you go. Okay, great.
Okay. Down and back. Down and back. Well, you want a more... See all these? Oh, good. Needs to be horizontal with the side. Lift that back up from here. Okay. Yep. 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 Oh, yep. Oh, clean. Okay. Rub it out now. <laughs> Rub it out. That's your reward. All right. All right. And then look, look at all these nice horizontal wrinkles. Now you can just do your thing. Pop them out. Okay. Great. That's looking good. Now you just have this one now. Okay. Good. Rub that out. Okay, look. Now you just gotta make it all the way up to here. So now you have to unfold all of this. <laughs> Alright, what we wanna do is pull it back, push it up, then lay it back down. Yep. Like that. Okay. Like that. Okay, and now that discoloration is gone, then you can just work these bubbles out. <coughs> progressively. You see how I'm progressively doing it? Yes. Okay. And up here, let's create your line. Okay, now all you have to do is do that same thing I showed you back there. Trim and tuck. Okay, down here, same thing. You set this all the way to your edge. Get all these bubbles out and then you're ready to trim and tuck. Okay, go. All right, so I showed him what to do to get to this point, right? So on this particular car, this time around, I decided to run a seam right here and this piece is a separate piece because we want to run this as a whole piece and this still connect. Uh, if I were to do it again, I might do it the seam right here and then run the seam this way on that bio but for now i think this looks good enough you can choose to run this black if you want to and then you would do a black like sharp shape here and then you would do a black sharp shape here and it would look natural but either way uh, we're going to do it this way first so all matt has to do now is to tuck it in here cut that off Cut all that off and then duplicate what we just did over there by himself tomorrow while I'm at work on this side. All right, here's where we stand. Um, he didn't, he didn't tuck it in enough. And then what you want to do, like right here, you see this lifting. So, um, you want to make sure that you tuck it all the way into there, heat it, and then once it no longer moves and no longer fingers that's when you cut it so this happens when you cut too early without tucking and heating uh when when i showed him to do this part i tucked it all the way into the light and that was the exercise over here he had some difficulties and i think because of that difficulty he just matched the rest of the of the car so i'll ask him what's going on but right here is the big part okay this is the most difficult part to do um I had to do it several different ways and then I cho chose to run it with a separate piece down here. He wasn't able to follow that strategy and for some reason he cut here and then like put this connecting piece kind of overlapping it like this so Let's see that's no good no good okay and he like lost a chunk right here so the goal was to make sure that this all connects here and then there'd be a separate piece down here for this exercise. So I'll have to see what went wrong here. Um, he'll, talk, he'll tell me about his experience on this portion. And then, oh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like he just gave up on this whole thing here. 
and chopped this whole thing off and then just ran it to a different piece here. Uh, I mean, you can do that, but the important thing is you need to make it clean to here without this being black. And then you can run a separate piece this way if you really wanted to. But um, yeah, it's his first time and this is probably one of the hardest things that you'll ever do to work into these vents, especially with like a weird light here, it's hard. And then on the edges right here, what you wanna do is make sure you tuck it all the way in, heat, and then you cut. All right, y'all, since he messed up on the front bumper, I had him reset the bumper again. I did that kind of off camera where I'm literally just sitting on the couch over here and I'm like, nope, stretch it again. Nope, pull it back, stretch it again. His next lesson is on how to tuck it into the headlights. Of course, it's easier if you take all this stuff off, but um, he wants to try doing it my method where I don't take none of this off and that requires a lot of planning and a lot of nice tucking. So what you wanna do is just cut this much off and then tuck it in, okay? Uh, right here, he's short. So he didn't do what I told him to, which was cut way up here and then tuck it in and do not cut this until you have it all the way through. So messed up right there again. Should I make him redo the bumper guys for a third time? <laughs> well, we're running out of material right now, so I'm probably gonna have him just do the back bumper and then we don't have enough to finish this car because he messed up on so many pieces. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna let him finish both bumpers and then he's gonna work on his own car. So if, if a wrapper does not have his own car wrapped, then you got issues, okay? Don't ever take your car to a wrapper where his car is not wrapped. Um, you need to see what his skill level is and how he did on his own car. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this kind of like detailed in-depth tutorial where I'm like showing a lot of real-time stuff, but it doesn't complete the whole car. Sometimes I throw these types of tutorials in for those of you who are really struggling and maybe this helps. So let me know below. On the next episode, you guys might have noticed there's a truck sitting right back there. That's Matt's truck. If he's able to do these two bumpers like how I want it, I'm gonna let him practice with another roll that I have sitting around and he's gonna wrap his own truck right over there. It's like a Ram Rebel whatever ram 1500 rebel or something like that so his task will be to wrap this truck <laughs> within one week starting sunday and then completing it by saturday afternoon okay so if he can't do this and wrap his own truck then it's no go he has to buy another roll and practice until he gets it right because i'm not giving him any more material and then if he's able to completely wrap his own truck, then maybe, maybe we'll start offering trucks and SUVs, okay? But uh, this is something that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to see if it's possible. I don't know. It's, it's unknown until a rapper can do like one or two cars by themselves without having very many issues. Of course, I'm always here to guide. So stay tuned for that episode that's going to be entertaining. Until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, hey, there we go. Look at that. He was able to do the back bumper all by himself while it's gone. Very good. Seems like he's got the concept down. And then right here, front bumper. Very nice. He did this side while I did the other side and everything looks like it's staying because it's been sitting out in the sun. I just have to show him how to do the vents where those lights are and we're good to go. Promising. That truck next.